CataractCoach.com. Traumatic cataract with iridodialysis. Performing cataract surgery and fixing the iris. It's a tough case. Trauma is always tough because you never know what you're going to get into. So here we got the surgeon making a pyridomy here. Looks like sitting superiorly. And you can see also the pupil is kind of D-shaped or oval-shaped because of the iridodialysis there. And so getting a little bit of cautery done here. Let's see what we're going to do. Marking off here, 350 micron diamond depth. Here we go. And making a basically a half scleral depth groove from one of those sides to the other. Okay, scleral tunnel. So maybe doing MSICS here. So creating a nice scleral tunnel, good tunnel length. And so in a case like this, yeah, I think it's a reasonable ap approach here. You want to see how much xenopathy is there. Are you going to do an intracap actually on this case? Or is there enough capsule support where you're going to do an extra capsule removal? So there's the good tunnel length. Looks like an MSICS kind of incision there. And there we go. Going inside here. Let's see. Just examining what's happening. You need a little bit of tripen blue dye. Be careful. If there's any lap, then you put a lot of tripen blue dye. It can be pushed back in the vitreous cavity. As we know, you may lose your red reflex then. Here comes the viscoelastic. Yeah, it looks like a fibrotic capsule too. So some serious trauma. Okay, 2.4 millimeter incision. I would just, you could just make the rexus through the main incision. Let's take a look here. You're getting around that plaque. That's a smart idea. Nice, generous rexus is going to be important here. Wow, that is very fibrotic. Look at that. So getting a rexus completed here. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. We get to watch it together. And okay, nice capsule rexus. Wow, look at that fibrotic capsule. It's crazy. Hey, did I tell you about our podcast? Best podcast in all of ophthalmology. Literally the top podcast. You will love it. Learn so much. It's an hour every week. We interview an amazing ophthalmologist and learn the secrets to success to benefit you. It's for you. So now going there, lifting that nucleus up. Let's get this thing out of the bag. Uh, there you look at two-handed technique. A little more visco dissection. Protect that papsar bag. There's the whole nucleus. Hey, look at that. You didn't know you were going to get to see an MSICS procedure. So there's the M6 procedure, infusion candle going down there, AC maintainer. That's going to help keep it pressurized and then get that thing out of the eye. I like that second hand technique there. There we go. Deliver that baby. Let's see what's going on now. Clean this up. Maybe wash out the rest of that lens material. Perhaps a little bit of uh, bimanual IA. Let's see what's going on with the bag. So there's, yeah, more fibrosis of this capsule. Trauma cases are tough. You just kind of never know what you end up with. And patients sometimes don't get the concept that you cannot undo trauma. Okay, so sewing up that main incision there. It's a good closure. That's for sure is a watertight closure. Now putting the eye well. Oh, through that small incision you had before. Okay. Getting that eye well in the capsular bag. Hope I think that'll have enough support. Get that centered up. And now time to fix that iridodialysis. Now here we go. Looks like a 10-0 polypropylene. No, yeah, probably 10-0 polypropylene on this very long needle. And you're gonna basically resuspend that iris there. And so let's see, are you bringing the needle out the main incision or are you just gonna poke? No, I'm just poking out through the conch somewhere. I mean the sclera somewhere. And then it'll be covered with the conch. All right, getting that there, tying that up. Maybe do a couple on each side and see if you can get that resuspended. May also be a little slicker to even get that tiny 10 um, polypropylene hidden, maybe in a scleral groove, so it's not just sitting under the conjunctiva. Look at that. Pupil has gone back to round now. Looks pretty good. I like it. Seal up the incisions. Call this a day. Now, this patient better be happy. Sometimes patients have unrealistic expectations. They're so unrealistic, they think, well, just make my eye back to normal. And you and I both know you cannot undo trauma. So this patient has a beautiful result. If this patient complains of, like, residual still in the post-op period, I would just lose it. No, kidding aside. All right. Check out Cataract Coach, our podcast series. Again, you will love it. Also, check out the website, cataractcoach.com. So much great material.